This is new video. Hamas militants in Gaza firing rockets into Israel this morning. The Israeli military striking back, hitting targets in the Palestinian enclave, setting off fiery explosions. What some are calling Israel's 9-11 is dragging into a second day. Hundreds are dead on both sides. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told CNN that U.S. officials are working to verify reports that several Americans have been killed in Israel. Thousands more are injured, others being held hostage by Hamas gunmen. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has ordered the electricity to be cut off in the Gaza Strip, a territory Hamas has ruled since 2007. The United Nations is meeting this afternoon about how to proceed if the war drags on, as Israel is predicting. Secretary of State Blinken appeared on this week. He was asked about criticism that this was a massive intelligence failure by Israel. But there are implications for the United States as well, of course. We rely on Israeli intelligence, don't we? We have a very close relationship with uh, Israeli intelligence, as well as with the Israeli military, as well as with Israel more broadly. So yes, of course, this is something that they and we will be looking at. But the, in the effort right now has to be in dealing with the aggression uh, from, uh, from Hamas with these attacks. There remains intense fighting uh, around Gaza. We continue to see that. The rest of the country right now uh, seems to be calmer. The Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia says there are around 350,000 to 400,000 Jewish households in our community. And as the struggle to reestablish the balance of power goes on, a local historian tells us this is not a simple operation. For the first time in a very long time, the fact that the state of Israel has used the word war. Uh, not an operation, this is an actual full-blown out war against a terrorist organization that is out committed to its destruction. And many say locals need to pay attention to what's happening overseas because Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East.